But why? Aren't you afraid? Of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place. It, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away. So we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. You have to remember. The dream. The fire. The Red House. What? Wait! No, what is the Red House? You were there, Marianne. With me. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily? Gone. Just when I thought I could finally send her away. Thomas? I really hope you're still out here. Because I'm running out of options. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Looking for this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away! Or I'll scream! Clever girl. Thomas. You were here. This was your place. Oh, hey, a eunuch. Someone's got good taste. There's something under that engine. If only I could lift it somehow. What the hell happened here? July 27th, 1983. The Gemini case. The investigation is moving along, but I think Rekovich is starting to suspect something. We need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas. But how much, exactly? And who the hell were they? out. Well, you're one to talk. This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on. It's almost on. One of them? Who are you running from, Thomas? This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle, though.
There we go. Then I knew. This was the place. The answers were right in front of me. Buried among the ashes. There's gotta be something left. You think you're tough? When you hear them squeal, when you smell their bodies burning, you'll tell me everything. You beg me to listen. God. There were children inside. Was she? Was I? You're so special. You burn just like the rest of us. Oh, Jesus. Who the fuck is that guy? See who you really are. Fuck. Come on, so tight, huh? You wanna give it a go? Be my guest. Nah, this one's all yours. I like to think I'm more of the brains of the operation. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we? <coughs> or that? Yeah. Or two, I guess. Right. What do we have here? Fuck. I knew he was trouble. Security service. That little shit. That's no way to talk about a government agent. Comrade! <laughs> Socialism ain't gonna build itself. Fuck. You don't know who you're messing with, kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called... What Makes Thomas Tick? So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were... What? Three years old? Well, they were gonna kill you. But they didn't. No, they saw your potential. And wanted to harness it. But then. Poof. The war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army. 
and they locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. Find out what it is that makes you special. And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? <sighs> Hurting people like those scientists. <sighs> what were you? Eighteen? I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. Stick around. I'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again. And on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes. Oh no, you want it. revenge, I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Whatever it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. See yourself. No! <laughs> You're sick! Fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! You're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? has a way of messing with the time flow. I still got a chance to save them. All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own.
There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. Playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit a crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. <laughs> Not good. I know you're here. You've been a very bad boy.
As you're told. me to feel sorry for you, Henry. Let's see how that works out. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. <gasps> On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. Thank you. 
you ever heard of Neva? Good. Oh, shit. Hope it fucking hurt. 